Haiku Deck is a wonderful slideshow tool for the iPad. In this tutorial I will show you how to create your own Haiku Deck slideshow, edit text and add images to your slides. So let's get started. To start I simply click on the large plus sign at the bottom of the screen and then give my slideshow a name, in this case Tutorial. Now that my slideshow has been named I can now give it a theme. I can choose my theme by swiping left to right to choose the theme I want. The impact of a theme on my content is not immediately obvious. In a later tutorial, I will show you how the theme impacts upon the presentation style. On the left, notice three options, text, background and layout. I'm going to work with the text option first by pressing the T icon. When I do, three further options are available, heading and subheading, bullet points or numbered points. To add text, I simply tap and start typing. Once I have entered my text, I can see immediately how it will look as a heading and subheading. But what happens if I decide to swap layout styles? I'm going to select the bullet point option. As you can see, when I swap layout styles, I lost my subheading and will have to add text to my bullet points. To add more bullet points, simply click on the next bullet below and Haiku Tech will manage the content. To delete content, there is a black X at the end of every bullet on the right. Press to delete. I can swap between bullet and numbered view and not lose data. Now that I have added my text, I can now focus on the background of the slide. To do this, I click on the background icon. Again, I have three choices, image, chart or color. I'm going to choose image. I can either use the auto search terms or enter my own. When ready, press the search button. Haiku Deck then returns images with my search term as a tag. I can modify my search by scrolling through the associated tags to the left. I'm going to do this. From this new image search, I'm going to scroll through to the image I like, click on it and wait for the image to load into my new slide. Finally, I click on the done button to set my choice. All that is left for me to do on this slide is to decide on the particular text layout for the slide. I can do this by clicking on the last option, Layout. Obviously the template I decide to use will be dependent upon the image I have chosen. And this is a good visual literacy learning point for your students. I'm going to settle for text being bottom right. That's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials. And until the next time, keep practicing!